Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a really simple DIY pencil pouch. You do have to sew a zipper, but this is an easy way to do it. And it holds all your pencils, pens, it can hold glue, scissors, anything that you want to keep in this little pouch that keeps it handy and close by. And when you close it, none of the stuff that's inside will fall out. Please like this video and follow my channel for lots of sewing projects. What you'll need is two pieces of fabric um, that are both cut to nine inches. So this is gonna be my outer fabric, this chambray type fabric, and this printed fabric is going to be the lining. The other thing you need is just a regular zipper. This is an old vintage zipper that I've had for years and I'm deciding to use this is much too long. You'll need something more like a 12 inch zipper that's just longer than the um, nine inches of your square. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your squares wrong sides together like this and then you're going to serge or zigzag all four sides. So I have this, these pieces surged together. Next we're going to take our zipper and with your outer fabric, this is my lining fabric, um, and I want my lining, you want your print to, you know, figure out which way you want it to go with your zipper. So you're going to do right sides together. So this is my right side and I'm going to pin it to this zipper. I'm starting up here at the top of the zipper tape and I'm going to pin along here all the way down. Now I'm going to put a zipper foot in my sewing machine and I'm going to sew down this edge and I'm going to sew right along the edge of the zipper. The zipper foot will be my guide so that I'm not too close to the um, zipper teeth. So I sewed that seam right there and I opened it up and I pressed this seam flat. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to top stitch this fabric going away from the zipper and you're going to do it one eighth of an inch from the edge all the way down. Now we're going to sew this other side to the other side of the zipper, but I want to mark down here where this is where the bottom of the fabric is and I want to mark this on the other side so that I can make sure um, the fabric will end at the same spot of the zipper. So I'm going to pin this and again I'm doing the right side of the fabric to the right side of the zipper. Now I'm going to sew this seam with a zipper foot just like we did on the other side then I'm going to press it open and do the top stitch along the top. Now you're going to turn this right side out. You can see that zipper. So I'm going to open the zipper all the way and I'm going to press this seam allowance out towards away from the zipper and I'm going to top stitch that in place. The 
Now you're going to zip the zipper. You can zip it all the way to see what it looks like. That's how it's going to be in the end. But we are going to be sewing the um, sides of the pouch. So you're going, going to want to have your zipper open down here so that when you turn it right side out, it can come through this hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this right side out. We're going to trim off this zipper tape. Now, we're going to pin this seam together. So I'm going to find the center of the opposite side. So this fold, I'm going to match up this fold with the center of this zipper right here. And I'm going to pin this seam together. Then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Now you're going to sew on each side and you're going to sew with a straight stitch and a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Make sure you back stitch well at each corner. So I've sewn these seams and now you can turn the pouch right side out. You gotta poke out those corners. I'm not gonna trim the corners though because I want that seam allowance to be strong and I want it to be intact inside. So I poked out those corners Trim your threads and then you can zip it closed for your little pouch. Once it's all done, you can grab your pens or markers, you can slide them inside. You can put in whatever you want, close it up and carry those around. And that is how you sew a simple DIY pencil pouch to keep all of your pencils organized and in place. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.